This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. On a summer morning already hot enough to inspire a full-throated chirping from the cicadas, Sachi, Sachi silently devotes herself to her self-imposed duties, dressed as always in her long sleeve maid uniform. What are you doing here, Michiru? And I, watching over her from afar, busy myself braiding the hair of a deranged cave gremlin. <laughs> that was rude. Object all you want, but I have been hearing some distinctly goblin-esque grunting from your direction for a while now. Huh, so you're emitting bizarre noises at random intervals without conscious intent. Ever been tested for Tourette's Syndrome? Well, if you say so. Yeah, that sounds suspicious, bro. No worries on that front. We've got a date scheduled after this. <laughs> oh my, Mitru is so jealous. Mitru fans herself vigorously with one hand, her face contorted into an expression I haven't seen since the time she mistook lukewarm leftover soup for barley tea and guzzled it all down. <laughs> Sachi and I arranged the date in question yesterday, shortly after my little pep talk from Aone. Returning to the athletic grounds, I found Sachi still maintaining a quite respectable standby pose, nibbling from a box of soy milk donuts that Makina brought at her side. I apologized for my lack of consideration, fully expecting Sachi's standard, I don't mind in the least, in reply. But in a somewhat unusual turn of events, she instead asked, in that case, what shall we do for the rest of the date? And so after a brief discussion, we decided to wipe the slate clean of our half-assed first date, and give it a fresh start the next day. Alright, we're done. I gave Michiru a light thump on the shoulder to signal the completion of her twin tail tying request. Standing from the bench she'd been lounging on, Michiru reaches up and examines my work with her own hands. I kind of want to see Michiru without the twin tails. I bet she'd look better. <laughs> I wonder if, like, eventually we're gonna see Michiru and she's just gonna have her normal hair color and, like, no twin tails, and it's just gonna be like, who are you? <laughs> well, I have seen her do this once or twice, so I had an example to work off of. Well, color me impressed! I love Sachi's singing voice. It's so calming. It's really beautiful. Hmm? As for chatting, I noticed Sachi's actually singing a relatively normal song as she works. Something of a first. Really? Aww. That a fact. They might be relatively loose orders, but Makina did ask Sachi to warble her lud ludicrous tunes. In other words, Sachi must be attached to this song to the point where she can occasionally override her standard system of prioritization. She has some special affection for that song? Hmm. Can't honestly say I'm not curious, but I suppose the important thing is knowing what it means about her mood. Prying into the exact details could be counterproductive. Okay. Appreciate it. To demonstrate my gratitude, I'll let you watch. <laughs> hey, Sachi! Have a second? Don't call me that. Sachi trots right over when I call out her name, offering a greeting that inspires a truly spectacular grimace from Michiru. You're looking a little pale in the face there, Michiru, my friend. Just now realized that you forgot to eat breakfast? Mmm. 
It was her idea. No, I don't recall forcing her to do that. Or giving any indication that I wanted her to. Nothing says a loving, trusting partnership through life like one person calling the other master, eh? I'll be fine. You hang in there yourself, alright? It's always the darkest before the dawn. As Michiru arrives in frustrated con uh, con frustrated confusion, Sachi smiles brightly and conspicuously leans on her head in my direction. The gesture is a pretty blatant request for another one of those petting sessions, but... Oh boy. Unfortunately, while your intentions were good, that wasn't quite worthy of a pat on the head. Wow. In typical fashion, Sachi offers no complaint or objection, despite this obviously disappointing result. But judging from the way she proactively presented herself for attention, Michiru's assessment of her mood seems to be relatively accurate. So how far have you gotten with the courtyard? In that case, I'd like to get going before this heat gets any worse. But before I can finish the thought, there's the distinctive sound of a certain engine drawing near. A sound that can only mean one thing. Ice Cream Man! <laughs> no, just kidding. It's gotta be the Schnitzel Man. <laughs> Guess she's here. Oh boy. You are You are not the Schnitzel Man! After saying goodbye to Michiru, who apparently finds encountering genuine blondes somewhat depressing, oh, Sachi and I make our way to the front gate. JB's leaning against her flashy bimbo mobile, waving in our direction. Look, didn't I tell you to give me advance warning of your visits? Looks like you're done. Bye! <laughs> Don't say it like that! By hot and sweaty, she means we were working out in the sun. Just to make things perfectly clear, Sachi's referring to training, physical exercise, that sort of hot and sweaty. That's my girlfriend for you, just full of surprises. But anyway, since you were... since when were you two this friendly? You've got some explaining to do, JB, because uh, Saji took a photo of you um, snogging me, and it kind of caused some problems. <laughs> she remembered! No, I'm pretty sure you remembered that she snogged me. The smile on JB's face bears a striking resemblance to Amine's up-to-no-good expression. When women smirk like this, my experience suggests that events are about to take a markedly irritating turn. Well, we're about to go to Red Robin, so that'll be pretty great. Are you seriously asking me that? What are you, some gossipy old lady from across the street? I already gave you what you absolutely needed to know, didn't I? I see no reason to volunteer more. No, that's cheating. With a great show of pouty sulkiness, JB pulls Sachi away from my side and wraps her arm around her shoulders. This is uncomfortable. Scandalous, we can't do that till we're engaged. Look, you. Okay, well, look at the time. We really need to get going, JB. 
他にもハグやアマガミといった恋人らしい行為には及んでいません That last one was unnecessary. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Ah, yeah. Being the gentleman. So, I'm going to go to the house. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Look, just because I like killing the lemmings when I play lemmings doesn't mean I'm a beast. I'm going to go to the house. <laughs> uh, it's like the Disney movie. Beast is pretty cool. Stop feeding her lies, woman. As you speak, Sachi stares at me with eyes clear and bright as glass beads. All I'm going to say is this. When JB starts talking like an effeminate stage magician, you really shouldn't take anything she says too seriously. Yes, I It's true, JB kind of has a very strange voice. It's, it's, it very much sounds like a forced character voice. Like, I don't feel like any adult would have a voice like that. Well, I, I, no, I guess, I guess adults could have a voice like that. I feel like it doesn't really fit. I feel like it's a fake voice that she's putting on. Well, you could say that she. It's. I'm sorry, what, what did you say? Oh, cooperative, yeah. Well, you could say that it's one of her good points. Oh, of course, nothing naughty happening here. So you're satisfied now, right? Better get back before the brass starts squawking. When you have an actual reason to visit, I don't think I'll treat you unkindly. If that was the point of the visit, then she sure took her time getting around to mentioning it. Alright, send me the details when you can. With an exaggerated wink, JB slips into the driver's seat of her prancing horse. Later! <laughs> After teasing us one final time, JB rolls up her window and speeds off in a shrill burst of sound pollution. Okay, just to be clear, I don't toss or turn in my sleep. That's a bit over the top. But anyway, do you finally understand not to take that woman at her word? <laughs> Basically is not the same thing as absolutely. Maybe. If she could resist the impulse to screw around like that. More importantly, about the date... Yeah, thought we'd go walk around some stores. Right, window shopping, as they call it. No, no, I'm buying the Windows operating system. Pretty decent. Try that one on a veteran marine who's gotten thoroughly sick of constantly floating around in iron tubs, and you'd probably get a drunken roar of laughter. Right, I keep forgetting she's a natural at this. Anyway, I did take my best stab at thinking up of an appropriate first date here. Is the shopping plan alright by you? Good. In that case, let's make our preparations, then meet up here in ten. This is exciting. Not even glancing at the store windows to her left and right, Sachi shuffles silently forward, completely lost in her own little world. We came straight to the shopping area around the station as planned, but Sachi's mood appears to have taken a dramatic turn, off, turn of some sort in the course of the last 15 minutes. This is fun. As a little experiment, I try shopping, stopping quietly in my tracks. Completely oblivious, Sachi continues to walk briskly down the sidewalk. Hey, Sachi! <laughs> Do 
Don't see that every day. Something on your mind? Me and JB? Not to repeat myself, but if there's something on your mind, you can go ahead and say it. Well, she probably, she probably wants to know why she was snogging us in that photo that Sachi took. The hell? Sachi's explanation is so amazingly unhelpful that I reflexively respond a little curtly. Sorry, can, can you try to go into a little more detail? Oh, don't worry, that could never happen. Yeah, well, Makina says a whole lot of crap. I see. Based on what I can infer from that explanation, it's simple jealousy. And although that feeling's obviously the result of JB's malicious little pranks, Sachi probably isn't capable of recognizing either the cause or effect for what they are. Alright, I've got some advice for you on this one, Sachi. File those feelings away and make sure you don't forget them. But for the moment, try not to let them bother you too much. It's pretty simple, actually. Just empty your head for now. <laughs> that's not easy thing. That's not something easy to do. Because you'll be able to enjoy the date that way. Feeling any better? Ouch, that would hurt a little bit. That a fact. The girl, all that, the girl can lay the hyperboles on a little thick at times, but it sounds like this really was a load on her mind. In any case, it's encouraging to see Sachi starting to puzzle over things she doesn't understand. Hmm, something I want. Huh. The only thing that really comes to mind on the spur of the moment is books, but even there, I'm doing alright with Sakaki's leftovers for the time being. Everything necessary for my job at Ichigai is provisioned to me like from the company's stock of government-supplied goods. I can't think of anything I urgently need to get my hands on at the moment. Dude, are you kidding? There's a new toaster oven model out. Well, if I really stretch things a bit, there's a new scope they're making overseas that I've been wanting to try out, I guess? A scope? In other words, if the prep time wasn't an issue, this girl wouldn't hesitate to launch an international expedition as a part of a casual shopping trip. As I try to come up with something else, I'm interested in buying. I casually glance over at Sachi, walking quietly at my side in full maid uniform. No matter how accustomed she is to that thing, it's downright mind-boggling that she can wear a heavy, multi-layered outfit in this heat without shedding even a drop of sweat. Why? Why is that literally always the first thing on these characters' minds? No. No, you did not. That is so. That said, she's not entirely off base, since my idea does concern her body. Alright, how about I buy you some clothes to complement that body of yours? Yeah, I had this thought earlier, but wearing a long sleeve maid uniform in the dog days of summer isn't really in the spirit of things. Right, sure, I'm willing to bet it's still got long sleeves. Don't get me wrong, I love how modest these maid uniforms are, but... But! We need to get you some better clothes. Hmm... They do say that two-thirds of the troops battling over in New Guinea ended up afflicted with malaria, but still. At present, I'm fairly sure the Anopheles minimus mosquitoes capable of spreading the disease can't be found anywhere in Japan other than a small region of Okinawa. Okay, whatever. From now, for now, let's just take a look in that store over there. Come on. No, we don't actually get to see the inside of the store. 
As we leave the store, Sachi poses an anxious question, glancing down at the shopping bags dangling from both her hands. All well and good that I decided to buy her clothes, but even my avaricious <laughs> reading habits never extended to female-oriented fashion magazines. I was largely clueless on this one. For lack of a better plan, I ended up indiscriminately buying everything recommended by a saleswoman who spoke something just barely qualifying as Japanese. According to JB, women can never have too many clothes. That's funny, because I've only seen Michiru wear her school uniform and one casual outfit. No need to worry about that. Fortunately, I've got a part-time job, so buying a few presents for my girlfriend isn't anything out of the ordinary. Look, do you know how many people out there actually are willing to clean five-story Taco Bells? Very few. It's just me, so I get paid the big bucks. Personally speaking, I consider buying you clothes money well spent. If you're saying you don't want them, feel free to use them at ra as rags when you're cleaning. I won't hold it against you. Wow. Then I guess there's no problem. In that case, why don't you wear those clothes every once in a while? To the degree that it doesn't interfere with the pre-existing request about your maid uniform. No, it's pretty simple. Why don't you just wear them when you feel like wearing them? Repeating my words like a parrot, Saji closes her eyes in thought. In relation to my final objective, giving her these presents is something of a test. But it's also genuinely true that I want to see Sachi in normal clothes for once. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Alright. Next, I guess we can just wander around for a while. I take a step forward, but Sachi doesn't budge. Uh, hmm? Arigato. Arigato, when Sachi speaks those plain words, a memory flashes before my eyes. Thank you. Apart from my family, Sachi was the one and only person in my claustrophobic little world who said those words to me on a regular basis. For Sachi, it might well have been nothing but a simple expression of gratitude for the praise I lavished on her. But for me, every thank you offered me heartwarming relief from the feelings of inferiority and worthlessness that overwhelmingly <laughs> defined my period of my life. Well, yet again another person with cripplingly low self-worth. Maybe it was just a childish misconception on my part. A groundless, self-centered delusion. But it felt as though she was telling me, You're alright as you are. It's alright for you to be here. Yeah. <laughs> and watching Sachi answer my curt grunt of acknowledgement with a happy smile, I realized that whatever else has changed over the years, that feeling's still the same. That warmth still rises to the surface. Even in that, al even in that alone, I think Sachi is a special presence in my life. Alright, Sachi, let's get going. Taking a Japanese class this summer, that's cool. My sister's taking Japanese. Glad we managed to find something that caught your interest as well. <laughs> oh boy, shark-themed clothes are the best, right? We wandered aimlessly through a few of her stores until we stumbled across the item in question. Her prize in hand, Sachi smiles triumphantly up at me as we leave the shop. So what, is that thing made from shark skin? <laughs> Michiru is now wearing like a strap where it's just like. <laughs> That's so. If Mishu is really looking to compliment that sparkly pouch of hers with this sort of realistic nature design, she's got a fairly inconsistent fashion sense. Well, now that we've both bought something, I guess it's about time we've headed back to the dorm. So, this we didn't even take her out to dinner. But when I changed the subject, Sachi's response is somewhat distracted. She's turned her head slightly to one side. I follow her gaze to the bus stop bench, where a man's lying down with his head in his girlfriend's lap. Is that Amine with someone else? Hmm. There's a good bit of distance between us, so I can't hear their conversation that well. But the atmosphere over there seems pretty nice. From all appearances, they're a couple in the height of the honeymoon phase. When I look back, Sachi's still boring holes into the pair with her eyes. After JB's suggestive pestering this morning, she might well have developed some curiosity about this sort of physically romantic action. 
Yes, sleeping in your, sleeping in your boyfriend's lap is definitely <laughs> definitely physically romantic. Something on your mind? If you say so. Judging from that oddly vague answer, it seems she doesn't want me to know she was looking at the couple in particular. Okay, let's head back. By the time we reach the campus, Sachi's got her head completely in the clouds again. This would be the second time in the last few hours. Considering she's normally alert enough to come running when someone calls her name, this is definitely an unusual state of affairs. That pillow is cute. Ah, so that's it. Although it's actually a little worrisome that she's this transparent, this time she's clearly just gotten herself caught up in the lap pillow concept. Hey, Sachi. Want me to guess what you're thinking about right now? No, nothing like that. I'm pretty sure I... I'm just pretty sure I know what's on your mind at the moment. Want to see if I'm on the money. Alright, I'll get straight to the answer. Sachi, you're currently thinking about trying out the classic lap pillow maneuver, yes? Minyo. Judging from that goofy little yelp, she genuinely wasn't expecting the answer. Can I take that to mean that I'm correct? No hints, huh? I am a pretty magical person. Actually, in this case, I'm pretty sure anyone with a functioning set of ears could have produced the same supernatural insight. Phrase it in a different way, but yes. Considering how sordid you make this sound, you seem remarkably calm. Okay, then, why don't we step that lub dubbing up a notch? Lub dub dub. Can't say exactly how many extra dubs we'll get, but since you're interested, I'm officially proposing we give this lap pillow thing a try. <laughs> Conveniently enough, there's a setting ideal for the purpose close at hand. I point to one of the benches that dot the courtyard, sitting in the shade of a tall tree. All these bags ended up being slightly heavier than expected, so it would be nice to rest my arms a little as well. Of course my arms aren't even slightly sore, and the dorm's right in front of us. But no need to mention that. Alright, sounds like the matter's decided. I pull Sachi over to the bench, then settle down in the classic lap pillow pose, as previously demonstrated by the couple in town. Yeah. Ignorant as I may be about these matters, I do know the basic theory behind the lap pillow. Leave the rest to me. It's called, put your head in the guy's lap. Alright. Success. Why does she look so uncomfortable about this? <laughs> <laughs> Sachi's face stares up from my lap, frozen with all the meek anxiety of a terrified kitten. Well, what are your impressions now that you're experiencing the real deal? I'm pretty sure you can do it either way. Now that you mention it, the man was the one lying down at the bus stop, wasn't he? Hmm. <sighs> I didn't even consider which of us would be the pillow and which would be the pillowed. Well, if you want to take the opposite role, we can switch. I want <laughs> I want a CG that is exactly this, just with Yuji's face instead. <laughs> Guess we're not getting that. You sure about that? I see. 
Yeah, I guess you could look at it that way. The moment Sachi offers that brief response, a gentle gust of wind rolls through the shaded courtyard. A lingering breeze, not so strong as to be irritating, but enough to be bring a pleasant cool. That's the best kind of breeze. Okay, that's better. That's a happy Sachi. I like that thumbnail better. That it does. Yeah, yeah about the cicadas. If it was behind your eyes, we'd have a problem. How would that even work? She puts the, her feelings into words as they come to her. I offer brief meaningless responses. Just like a good boyfriend does. At some point in this trivial little exchange, a smile spreads across Sachi's face. And I begin to feel this sort of simple tranquility that comes of cradling a purring cat on your lap. Hey, Sachi. You enjoy the date today? No hesitation. She's telling the truth. Even though we just wandered around by the station? Well, I'm glad you had fun, but you really are easy to please, aren't you? Oh, elaborate. So you are. True enough, if someone saw this little scene out of context, they'd probably get the impression that Sachi's wearing the pants in this relationship. Well, since you've had that rare opportunity handed to you, how about you relax and savor it for a while? As she speaks, Sachi lets the tension drain out of her body, and I feel a little more weight settle in my lap. It almost feels like the physical manifestation of her absolute trust. I've shouldered many burdens on the job, but none were quite this relaxing to bear. If you feel like it, you can go ahead and take a nap. <laughs> Love dub. In that case, just close your eyes and take it easy. Apparently that alone's about 80% as effective as actual sleep. Look, I'm sure I told you this before. The people who really deserve praise are the scientists who ran the studies, not the guy who read about them in some book. Very true. You really aren't going to budge on this, are you? And she seems to be very pleased about it for some reason. This habit of overestimating me to the point of veneration is one part of Sachi that doesn't seem to be changing. Walking down the streets chatting with your romantic interest. Going shopping together, brushing against their warmth. And ultimately offering them as your lap. <laughs> offering them your lap as a pillow. Putting aside for the moment whether it's supposed to be the other way around. I remember seeing this sort of innocent flirting between couples in manga and television shows as a kid. But I hadn't imagined the day might come when I'd actually be experiencing something of the sort. And in fact, I almost certainly never would have if it wasn't for Sachi. I was able to experience this tranquil feeling because of her. Because I met her as a kid. Because we were reunited here. Because she agreed to date me. This unlikely moment came to pass. Thanks, Sachi. Aww. When the words spill naturally from my mouth, I'm answered by nothing but the sounds of a carefree young woman sawing logs. Thought you weren't sleepy, punk. That didn't take long, considering. But then again, seeing Sachi like this, the way her lively excitement gave way to this abrupt nap, it's a keen, almost painful reminder of the tomboyish, unpredictable girl she used to be. Oh, hey, Yumiko. When I raise my head in response to this tentative inquiry, I see Sakaki standing at the shade nearby, a paperback book in hand. Hey there, Sakaki. Back from sharing your complaints regarding our profane world to a local crow? <laughs> Sorry, just a little joke. Yep. Yeah. Momentum from shopping date ended up carrying us into a slightly weird direction. Decided to try out the lap pillow thing. <laughs> as soon as the words are out of Sakaki's mouth, she's leaning quietly forward, peering down at us with an expression of evident curiosity. 
Guess the man being the pillow is pretty unusual after all, huh? Yeah, we thought she couldn't sleep because she's a robot, right? What's that supposed to mean? Another unbroken streak of hers, is it? Well, yeah, I know, I know you have spy cameras everywhere. I mean, what? That effect. Makes sense. Yet another sign of how strictly Sachi governs her own behavior. Well, we did spend a good while wandering around the stores this afternoon. She was probably a little tired. Then what did? Sakaki smiles gently at her own joke. Fairly uncommon, both the smile and the fact that she made a joke in the first place. I don't think she was joking. I think she's just happy for us. Oh, you interested? How about giving it a try yourself? Not until her route. When I offer a little light teasing as a payback, Sakaki's face instantly goes red. Of course, you'll have to get Sachi's permission first, but... <laughs> At the sudden angry shout from my lap, Sakaki scrambles a few feet backward, completely flustered. She was just <laughs> she was just pretending to be asleep. I wonder. What the heck? You're dreaming about tuna fish, man? No, she's pretty clearly not. Yeah, seems that way. You're reading way much too much into this. With those parting words, delivered in an uncharacteristically tranquil tone, Sakaki turns away and quietly makes her way back to the dorm. Hmm. I'm permitted to while away my time as a human pillow for the moment. But two days from now, another Ichigaya job is waiting for me. That was the way of life I chose, and I don't plan on trying to get back out on the <laughs> to back out this late in the game. I swear he's breaking the fourth wall there. But surely no one can hold it against me if I enjoy this feeling a little longer. At least until she wakes up. Aw, oh, that was a cute scene. I like that one. Alright, I think that's where we're going to have to end for today. I was able to stream so long last week because, well, I liked the flashback, and the flashback was genuinely really interesting and didn't have a lot of cringy moments in it. With Grisea, how cringy it is for the most part of the humor, I can't really handle streaming it for more than two and a half to three hours, so. That was fun, though. I'm liking where... I really liked that last scene. That was cute. That was always nice. All right. I'm going to end the stream there. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.